Tonight, a new poll is shedding new light on the public perception of some key Rhode Island leaders. And some of the numbers could also be seen as an early preview of next year's gubernatorial campaign. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live from the newsroom with the details that are new at 5. Mike, I went right to Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming to get a breakdown of three names that could possibly be on the next ballot for governor. The battle to be governor is still a ways away in 2014, but the latest poll from Brown University tells us what voters are thinking about possible names on the ballot. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says Providence Mayor Angel Tavares, General Treasurer Gina Raimondo, and current Governor Lincoln Chafee are all possible candidates. The results show low numbers for the governor. Only 25.5% of the voters approve of his job performance. It seems that Lincoln Chafee is really in a difficult time getting the voters to understand what he's doing if it's helping the state of Rhode Island. At this point, they're not responding well to his uh, two years as governor. Fleming thinks numbers are good for General Treasurer Gina Raimondo. 56% approve of her job in the Brown poll. So she's sitting very well. Also, Brown's showing about 19% of the people don't know who she is. For General Treasurer, that's a really good number. When 81% of the people know your name already and could give an opinion of you. The state's most popular politician is Providence Mayor Angel Tavares with a 63.7% approval rating. Fleming gave reasons the treasurer and mayor have such high numbers. You have two people who basically buck the establishment here in ways and for example Gina going for pension reform, Angel talking about Providence the way it is, the financial hurricane that they were facing and they both took issues head on. Now stick around because at 6 o'clock I'm going to break down the numbers from the Brown poll about same-sex marriage. Reporting live in the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.